Hey there, this is Chris and this is AskX. So go to ask.slide.com if you want access to the beta. And now what is AskX? AskX is a tool that reads through all your team data so you can synchronize all your chats, your wiki, uh, your public pages uh, and many more and ask questions on that. Uh, we believe that all your knowledge is there but very often it's locked away. So for instance, um, So this is, for instance, a kind of support type of questions. It's actually something that we've been asked this morning. Um, and here, the thing that is already interesting is that you can see on the right sources that appear first, and that explains why they will support the answer. Then you can see in the answer why it has been supported by the sources. And as you can see here, we have at least two sources that don't come from our documentation. And this is where AskX really shine. Like, despite all the noise of all these sources, we are able to bring a uh, very co cohesive and good answer to the team, and one that they will never have had with only the documentation. So that's the first example. Let's go to the next example. For instance, um, so I'm really typing extremely badly. <laughs> okay, well, that's fair enough. How do I add a discount to a user? I'm typing an internal operation question in this case. Um, Please don't make fun of me for my bad typing. And as you can see here, uh, the thing that I wanted to test very often when you add a question, in this case, how to add a discount to a user, you don't add enough context or you don't understand that AI can't help without specific context. And so what we do is that we actually build tools to help you refine and suggest you to refine. So in this case, it says we have three branches opening up. Do you mean new customers, existing customers? Because each answer will differ. So let's try again with this precision and it will give a good uh, answer. Now, we can go beyond just question and answer. Uh, you can ask on projects, you can ask on, you know, much more kind of like on the go type of information. But in this case, I wanted to show you uh, instructions. So typically RFP is a very good one. Here we have an RFP, so it's a space which is basically like a preset of filters and instructions that are made for one specific job. So in this case, filling RFP. Well, I put like a few specific sources. I can specify the date range and I can specify instructions. So in this case, I just want to make sure that whatever the answer we have is formulated in a way where I can paste it into a document and um, that it actually handles the unclarities correctly. So um, I will actually paste something that we had this morning. So what certification or measurement have you been taken uh, under the security? So here you can see like we have like a series of um, things that is uh, ready. Now I can actually specify here on the RFP space and it will give a different and better, hopefully, answer. Here it is. So I have the actual kind of full um, information plus like something that I asked to uh, double check uh, in my case. So that's really something where it goes beyond just answering. So that's AskX. Uh, two things that I want to show you last is the Ask Insight panel. So you can see like which questions are missing and actually answer them from there. And so that you actually can build a never growing source of data for your team to get answer from. And the last thing is uh, accessibility. So if I'm on a random uh, page and I use the Chrome extension, I can ask access AskX from there. I can also use our new uh, Slack integration that actually uh, will answer straight away if you mention Slide uh, in it. It's now available um, to all Slide users. Uh, we'll kind of like get you in the beta app or for larger teams with like very good use cases. So please uh, request access to the beta and we'll bring you in as soon as we can. Have a good one.